Hi everyone, this is Shadow Blade, a really interesting kind of puzzle platform game where fluidity of your movements as you're kind of tapping on the screen and swiping really make a big impact on how well you're going to do in this game. So effectively you're a ninja, and this ninja's got to get from one side of the level to the other, and while he's doing that he's going to have to hack his way through enemies as well as completing various jumping puzzles and avoiding obstacles etc. Now there's two control modes, one uses traditional analog thumbstick arrangement on screen as it were, so you, you have a little digital joystick on there and you can move around and the other one uses really touch and tap regions so you would swipe and tap the screen to move around now we tried this game using the uh, touch and swipe controls those felt much more natural for a game like this where the the kind of virtual analog stick arrangement it just felt a bit clunky in my opinion not really what I was looking for from the kind of gameplay that this game is offering if you're able to use it with the touch controls the fluidity is really really good and especially when you kind of nail a really long run of jump and so on and, and kills it feels really really good the game is broken down into individual levels and each level lasts around a minute possibly less depending on how fast you do it and you'll then be awarded stars at the end to sort of show how well you've done now the game is um, a pay for game but has a demo which has the first um, seven or eight levels or so available for you to kind of play through and then you can purchase the game for a couple of pounds Personally, I think this game is well worth the money, and the gameplay is really, really good. Once you complete a particular section, um, you will then be able to play it through again on hardcore mode, um, which obviously ups the difficulty somewhat. And it, there's quite a lot of replay action here, in my opinion. The graphics are beautifully realized for a title like this. They kind of have this cel-shaded animation uh, going on that works really nicely. It's kind of like a almost papery in places, but beautifully well realized. Fast gameplay, and I mean really fast gameplay, when you get everything working quite fluidly with the controls no particular slowdowns occasionally the game can be a little bit frustrating making you kind of try and nail a jump perfectly to get to over an obstacle but ultimately that kind of is par for the course with these kind of puzzle games everything i saw here just left me impressed and it's well worth checking out this weekend